Implied malice. Now, what is that? It's when no considerable provocation appears and when all of the circumstances of the killing show an abandoned and malignant heart. This killer's heart abandoned this child long before he died. This defendant's heart abandoned this child when he left him to die a terrible death in that car, when he came back to check the scene, check the scene at lunch, maybe even to make a discovery in front of his friends there until they pulled off too quickly. Quite possibly discovering, as we've heard from the evidence, that Cooper could have been alive in that car. And abandoning him yet again. And sat there malignantly while that child cooked in that car. That, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, in this case, is the epitome of an abandoned and malignant heart.